folks, my name is Mark, and this is Why I Hate the World, and this is more answers to libertarian people. Now, um, sorry that I haven't been getting these videos out in a consistent schedule, you know. Um, this one's going to be kind of long in order to make up for it. In fact, uh, I'm probably going to, um, probably going to cut this into two, just, you know. Anyhow. So, last year I made this video called People Who Piss Me Off Libertarians, right? And, um, out of the few that I've made that talk about libertarians and the problems I have with, with their philosophy, this one seems to be the most popular, right? I get a lot of uh, comments on this one from right-wingers and libertarians and stuff like that. And, uh, and two things happen, you know, that I've noticed when, when people come and they want to refute my video, okay? They all say the same things, right, over and over and over again, and they tend to post like 700,000 times, like on the same video, in a row, you know, and I just want to tell people out there, if you're going to post on one of my videos, right, don't post a million times at once, all right, because I'm not going to read it, okay? In fact, I don't think anybody is, and, you know, post, make, you know, make what you want to say clear, right? and post once, okay? And then if I don't reply to you, that means I don't care, all right? If I choose to reply to you, then yeah, maybe we can have some dialogue or some shit. But if you're gonna post like 40 fucking times, I'm not gonna read all that shit. And then if I feel, you know, if I read any of them, it'll be one, and then I'll just talk to one, right? Anyway, um, so most of these questions, these all, the, all of these questions actually come from a guy named PC Gamer Number One. And um, I think I'm just going to use him as an example, right? Because you know he had some shit he wanted to say, and you know I don't want to be a, a total dick to him. So I'm gonna I'm gonna um, list his show his comment there, and you can you know see that I didn't change around his words or any shit like that. And uh, you know, and I'm just gonna refer people to this video if they want to like, you know, because because they all ask the same shit over and over. So anyway, here we go at Hwanja. I voted Democrat and Republican. I vote for whoever is the least authoritarian, so don't claim that libertarians are right. It's a fallacy that is easily proven wrong when you look at all the things libertarians stand for. Now, it is true that there is a left wing to the Libertarian Party the same way that there is a right wing to the you know, Democratic Party, you know, and there's also a left wing to the Democratic Party and a left wing to the you know, um, Republican Party. I mean, a, a political party has a spectrum within it, okay, as well. And so that is true that there are left and there are right libertarians, but, you know, let's not bullshit ourselves here, folks. The vast majority of libertarians are conservative, okay? A lot, the vast majority of them are fiscally and socially conservative, okay? And to say that they're not is just not fucking true. I mean, Seriously, let's let's be honest with ourselves, right? You know, the 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 Libertarian Party in general is overshadowed by the conservative right wing. Okay, the um, these are the people who are like you know, the, the major crazy anti-tax people, right? Which most almost all libertarians are, right? But these are the same people that support things like banning abortion and limiting limiting like marriage rights to gay people and like you know banning sex ed and keeping them fucking, you know, shit like that, you know, the people that, like, they, they'll say things like, oh, I, I, um, you know, I don't support foreign wars and I want to bring back all the military bases and shit like that, mainly because fucking Ron Paul says it, but at the same time, like, they'll, they'll, um, they want to militarize the southern border, you know, they want to send troops to fucking, you know, Arizona and Mexico and shit because they think the drug cartels are invading the southern border and stuff like that, and it's like, you know, you don't get to say, I. you know, you can't have it both ways, all right? Like, seriously, like, you know, and these people that they'll, they'll or they'll say, like, um, you know, they'll, they'll, they'll say, um, I think that, you know, grown adults have sovereignty over their own body and they should be able to do whatever drugs they want, but then at the same time they, like, vote to, like, keep marijuana illegal, you know what I mean? Like, and it's, it's just like, you know, it's ridiculous, but, and, but in that video, I made a few comments which a lot of people have like uh, 
taken me to task for because I said some things like, you know, uh, I mentioned uh, naked body scanners and, uh, you know, the ATF and the CIA and stuff like that, right? And, you know, and a lot of libertarians gave me a lot of shit over that saying, like, oh, well, we don't support these things, okay? You know, that's the opposite of what we believe in and all that stuff. But the main reason why I, I said that in the first place is because the majority of libertarians are actually conservatives, okay? They're very conservatives in their policy, and they vote for Republicans. They vote for the conservative Republicans that, and it's the conservative Republicans that institute all of these policies in the first place, okay? Seriously, like, you know, um, take a look at, uh, you know, like, I mean, and take a look at, at Paul Ryan's latest budget to see where the re Republicans like spending interests lie, okay? He wants to raise taxes on the middle class, cut them for very rich people, and increase military spending, okay? And if you vote Republican, this is what you're voting for, all right? I mean, these are the people that are traditionally very pro-defense, pro-authoritarian, you know, at the cost of like social programs. That's fucking the right-wing conservative Republicans, you know? And a lot of the libertarian people will vote for this, they'll vote for them because they want to cut taxes, all right? And it's like all the other shit that these people stand for, you know, limiting abortion and gay marriage and drug use and citizenship rights and all that other crap. It just goes out the fucking window. It's like, the that's really what it comes down to, is that the libertarians vote on one issue, you know, taxes, and that's it. And then they're, they stand against all this other crap, but they vote, the people that they're voting for to cut their fucking taxes are the ones that are instituting all the policies that they're complaining about in the first place, okay? That's exactly what's going on. All right, so fucking, you know, I mean, and... I mean, where do you think these these TSA body scanner things, where do you think they came from in the first place, all right? You know, Michael Chertoff, okay? He's part of fucking the Texas Federalist Society, all right? You know, it's like a libertarian conservative think tank and shit. I mean, who do you think put the stuff in practice, you know, in the first place, all right? Was it the liberals, okay? Was it the Democrats, all right? Was it the fucking, you know, progressives that are doing all this stuff? You know, Guantanamo Bay and fucking, you know searching people and, and I mean seriously no all right it's the fucking conservative republicans that are causing all the stuff that you know taking away all your freedoms and shit okay so stop voting for them right and don't tell me that you know libertarians don't vote for these people because they do okay you know a lot of the people out there right now it's like who are you going to vote for are you going to vote for Obama or Mitt Romney okay Libertarians, which ones are going to be? Are you going to write Ron Paul's name in there? Like, get the fuck out of here. The most, the vast majority of people are going to vote for Mitt Romney, right? And all of the fucking conservative bullshit that's going to come with it. Don't say you're not because you are, all right? Seriously. Like, anyway. Um, and, you know, let's not forget that, I mean, a lot of the, a lot of the people I speak to, a lot of the libertarian people, especially the, the Ron Paul supporters, right? Because let's not say, because... Not every libertarian person out there is a Ron Paul supporter, all right? But, you know, a lot of them are. And a lot of them oppose these things, you know, but only at the federal level. And, at, you know, and they'll be perfectly fine with them at the state level, you know? So this is like, this is Ron Paul's stance on uh, things like, you know, abortion and, and gay marriage and shit like that. He says that, well, and, you know, the, the federal government should have nothing to do with it. It should all be at the state level. Well, you know, that's fine and dandy, right? But then what if your state outlaws it? According to Ron Paul, that's okay. It's like, well, the state says it's fine, you know. They're the state, you know, the people at the, at the state level should have the right to, like, ban these things. Well, how does that make it any better? I mean, why is it that, like, you know, let's say, let's say we were to do that. Let's say that if we were to pass a federal law saying that, you know, states now have the right to define marriage, right? And then what would happen is that all of the southern states, all the conservative southern states, just one by one, would just fucking ban all of that. Okay. How does that make it any better than if we had it at a fucking the federal level? Why? Because somebody could go north and do it, you know? Like, I mean, what if what if all of the, federal, the southern states fucking banned interracial marriage? Okay. Would that be okay? All right. Or do we need a federal law to say that that's, like, permissible? I mean... You know, are we going to have people escaping the South now, like we had, like, fucking in, you know, 1845 and shit, going north in the Underground Railroad so they can get married? I mean, the fuck kind of country do you want to live in? I mean, seriously, like, why is it okay for a state to outlaw something but not the federal government? How does it make that any less tyrannical? 
All right, why? Because you have more influence over your state people than you do your federal people? Just How does it make sense? It doesn't, okay? At least I don't think it fucking makes sense, all right? I mean, seriously, like, you know, and let's not forget that the fact that states' rights, you know, when you say that states' rights, it's, it's usually right-wing asshole racist code for turning back progress to the fucking Stone Age, all right? You know, it's like, that's why all the fucking racist white power, white nationalist dickheads claim things like fucking, you know, desegregation is, is, is against, like, you know, you know, it should be a state issue or things, or, um, you know, hate crime legislation should be handled at the state level. You know, why do they do this, right? Why do they people say shit like this? So they can fucking outlaw it in their state, okay? That's really all it comes down to, you know. Uh, I mean, these people fucking, you know, they never seem to give a shit about states' rights when it comes to things like the Defense of Fucking Marriage Act, okay? You know, that, that was something, remember that when, like, Obama came up and he said, you know, we're not going to defend that anymore, right? And all the fucking conservatives and the libertarians and shit went crazy saying, he's not upload, upholding the law. It's like, well, you know, how, how come, like, that's okay at a federal level, but, you know, it, it doesn't make any sense it's like like why can the fed why is it all right for the feds to outlaw gay marriage you know i mean if you really are consistent with your fucking beliefs you wouldn't give a shit that he like didn't want to defend that i mean it, it doesn't it's it's just be like a little bit of fucking consistency is what i want here okay i don't know but just ask yourself you know who are the people who are the people that are using this shit to pass their agendas, you know, who, who's trying to change the law to outlaw contraception, you know, to outlaw abortion at the state level, to fucking force creationism in schools at the state level, all right, is it the conservatives or the liberals, right, is it the Republicans or the Democrats, okay, you know, is it fucking the right wing or the left wing that's doing this stuff, right, and who do you fucking vote for when you're a libertarian, do you vote for the right wing people, the right wing conservatives or the left wing fucking, you know, liberals, all right, because the vast majority of you dickheads vote conservative, and they're the people that are fucking doing all the stuff that you're supposed to be against. It doesn't make any sense to me, all right? So anyway, moving on. <clears throat> okay, at Hwanja, I have seen libertarians in Occupy movement videos protesting these things. You need to open your <laughs> eyes and pay attention. But I consider any idiot libertarian supporting Occupy as completely worthless because the Occupy movement has been hijacked from people mad at this crony capitalism to a left-wing movement demanding free college and more free shit from hard-working people. What's worse, in videos when asked, they can never defend their position. <laughs> That's, uh, as you can see, I didn't change your words around any here. Okay, this is straight out of his comment. He must have been typing from a cell phone or some shit, because that's just, it's like, it fucking, you have some atrocious fucking grammar, but anyway. Um, no doubt there is some crossover between the two groups, you know. I, I've seen some people, um, you know, I, I went to a few of the fucking, uh, Occupy movements here in LA, and I saw some people with Ron Paul signs and, you know, saying shit like that, and, you know, um, like Tea Party type guys. I saw a few of them, not very many, right? But, um, the thing is, is that the vast majority of libertarians in general, right, seem to have the same bullshit attitude that you have, that, you know, this, this dumb fuck idea that fucking Occupy wasn't about protesting the banks, but instead about getting free shit, whatever the fuck that means. It's like, how did that even come into the equation? It's like, because they were protesting, like, you know, college fees and shit like that, so suddenly they want free shit, you know, they're, they're protesting, protesting healthcare costs, because so now they want free shit, it's like, you know what, fuck you, alright, that's all I gotta say about that, okay, I mean, you could go down to your local Occupy movement and ask them what they're fucking talking about, right, because they still happen here and there, okay, the movement's not gone, it just, you know, got suppressed, right, cops went out and beat the shit out of people, I noticed that never happened at these fucking, you know, Tea Party rallies, you know, they never degenerated into riots and shit, but anyway, um, you know, but you'll, you'll see, I mean, if you actually went and talked to the people there, you'd see it's not about getting free shit, okay, it's about, it's protesting the exact same fucking things that the, that the, you know, Tea Party people were protesting, you know, bank bailouts and crap like that, the problem is, is that 
you know, what I'm, what I'm asking is that how come more of them are not out there? How come there's not more, you know, because they're, they're talking about the exact same fucking things. How come, how come, you know, the Libertarians and the Tea Party people aren't at these Occupy Movement things, right? Why not? I mean, I don't know. You know, it, I think it might have a lot to do with people like you, PC gamer person, who are like, you're repeating the same misinformed bullshit opinion that you heard on fucking Glenn Beck or whatever, okay? I mean, it's really what it comes down to. But anyway, at Hwanja, libertarian is, libertarianism is centrist, not conservative. Medicare, Social Security are not successful. Three, libertarians apply their values to all parts of the government. Four, libertarians do not think that governments never lie, just that one person making the decision for thousands will never be as successful as the thousand people making the decision for themselves. Libertarians are the only intelligent people in the world. <laughs> all others accept that their fear, all others accept their fear and give up freedoms for protection. Okay. I love it when people number their shit like this. Okay. Number one. A libertarianism is centrist, not conservative. Okay, like all political parties, there is a spectrum within libertarianism. We already talked about this. Okay. Um, that being said, only someone who's just completely fucking misinformed or retarded would try to claim that the libertarian party is centrist. Right? They're to the right of nor of what most people would consider conservative. Okay, they just are. All right. Don't say that they're not because they fucking are. Okay. Two. Medicare and Social Security are not successful. Well, it depends on what you would call successful, all right, because Social Security and Medicare are, um, you know, they, they serve millions of people, right, and they're essentially financially solvent for the next 30 years, at least Social Security is, right, and even if nothing was done to make up that projective shortfall in the next 30 years, it would still... Social Security, at least, would still be able to pay out 80% of its total commitment. So that means that, let's you know, it's, it's 2042, and you're supposed to get a, a, pay, a payment for a thousand bucks, they would still be able to pay you $800, okay? That's not too fucking bad, right? It's really, the, this, this idea that Social Security is bankrupt is a myth, okay? Because it's not fucking true. Now, that sounds pretty fucking successful to me, but... If your definition of ma of successful is making a profit, right, then it's not successful. But you need to understand is that Social Security and Medicare, they're not businesses, okay? They're not supposed to make a fucking profit, right? They're supposed to provide a service, okay? They're not money-making entities, all right? They're not corporations, okay? They're supposed to take money, right, put it into a fucking fund, and then that fund is supposed to supply the service to different to people, right? And in that regard, they're actually very hugely successful, okay? They're probably the most successful fucking government programs we've had next to the post office, all right? They're hugely fucking successful. Number three. Uh, this is the one about, you know, libertarians apply their values to all parts of the government. Well, you know they don't seem to give a shit about the overreach of government into our personal lives when it comes to things like abortion or gay marriage or fucking sending the troops to the fucking southern border, all right? I mean, those are just three instances where I can name that the majority of libertarians are actually in favor of government control of these things, you know, even though their entire fucking philosophy is the opposite of that, all right? And number four, well, I agree, you know, this is the one about, all right, number four, libertarians do not think that governments never lie, just that one person making decisions for thousands of people will never be as successful as thousands of people making decisions for themselves. Well, I agree that a dictatorship, which is what you're describing, is not the way to go. But, you know, your contention that libertarians are the only intelligent people in the world is obvious bullshit, okay? Because, I mean, just looking at your fucking grammar tells me that that's not true, all right? But, um, you know, the, the thing is, is that that, that sounds like something that's very, um, you know, it seems to make logical sense to go, well, you know, a thousand people making decisions for themselves, right? Well, why have a country then, number one? I mean, we have to have common laws in order to run a society, all right? You have to have a hierarchy. You have to have organization within a society, all right? 
you know, the thing is, I mean, people people talk about this stuff like it's evil and all that stuff, but you know, we, we need money, right? We need to have some way of transferring goods and services, right? We need to have a government, okay? You need one, right? If you don't have a government, like, bad shit can happen, right? You need a way of organizing people in large groups so that they can work towards, you know, goals, okay? And really what we should, you know, what we're nitpicking about is, is what those goals should be, you know, like, you know, what are our goals? Are our goals going to be to go out and blow up the Middle East and, like, fucking, you know, ban gay marriage and shit so that Jesus will come back and, like, fucking outlaw abortion? Is that our goal? Or is our goal going to be, like, educating our children and taking care of the environment and, you know, advancing technology so that we can, like, leave the planet Earth and go populate the fucking galaxy? Is that going to be our goal? Like, you know, it, it comes down to that's really pretty much it because... You know, if we had no government, if we had no organizing principles, we had no money, right? If we had none of this stuff, then you might as well just go back to, like, fucking, you know, hunting and gathering. Because that's what it'll fucking come down to if every single person made up their own rules. I mean, it's... it's when people say shit like this, I don't even actually think about what the fuck it actually means, okay? You know, this is real life. This is not the road warrior, <laughs> all right? We're not living in some post-apocalyptic fucking nightmare land where you have to, like, trade gasoline for fucking, you know, food and you're eating out of fucking, like, you know, dog food and you're, like, you know, trading women as commodities and shit like that. This, it's not, you know, this is a modern society with, like, laws and institutions and all that shit. It's, it's just people that say shit like this, they just... I don't know if they even think about these things before they say them or if they're just stupid or what, but anyway, I'm going to pause for a second here.